Hello, this is Faith of Faith in Books. How are you doing? I'm here once again about to pick up my grandsons to watch them for the day. And I thought I'd do a quick review of the book False Colors, which is by Georgette Hare, H-E-Y-E-R. She was a British novelist. She wrote over 50 books. Um, Twelve of them were um, crime mysteries, kind of like Agatha Christie. Um, and then the rest, most of the rest, some were historical novels, but most of them were Regency romances. And she, in fact, she kind of invented that genre. And she did really well. Um, so she's intelligent, witty, uh, historically accurate, just really delightful to read. Wonderful read, uh, writer. And uh, False Colors is, I enjoyed it very much. I had trouble getting through the first part because it's a very long dialogue where there's a lot of exposition built into the dialogue. And it went on a little too long. I thought it was a little clunky, poor hair, who's usually quite elegant. Um, but I finally got through it. And this has been sitting on my shelf for years and years. Um, and I got into the meat of the story and I really enjoyed it. It's the plot is um, based on these twins, these identical twins, Lord Denville, uh, or Evelyn is his um, proper name, and then um, his uh, twin brother, Kit, or Christopher, or Kester, he calls him. And Lord Denville has inherited the estate, so he doesn't have to work or anything, and instead he's very frivolous and he gambles and does all that sort of stuff. And uh, Kit, though, went into the diplomatic corps. Some uncle got him in. Anyway, the plot is based on Kit having to pretend he's Lord Denville um, to get Lord Denville out of an awkward situation. And he didn't want to do it, but he did it. And then it kind of snowballed and it became, he had to pretend he was his brother more and more. And there's a mystery because you don't know what happened to Lord Denville. Um, and there's, it's a complicated plot. There's several things going on. You've got the love story, um, which gets resolved pretty soon. I mean, I guess two thirds of the way through that's resolved, but then you have another mystery about how they're going to deal with these debts that are, um, really crippling the family. And also, um, what was the last thing that they had to resolve? Oh, and to prevent scandal, because if it comes out that Kit has been hoaxing these rich, well-to-do people, uh, it's going to be very scandalous. So um, it, it's a it's full of her usual fun um, side characters, including valets and nannies and that sort of nurses and that sort of thing, um, and just really fun characters. Um, the mother, their mother is a complicated but really charming person and uh, there's a, there's a lot of good side characters so I enjoyed it very much and I would recommend it if you like that sort of thing so it's it's a I feel like it's a Regency romance for people who also like Jane Austen and Shakespeare I think you can um, you can enjoy hair if you go into it um, thinking there's going to be a little bit more they're, they're longer books. She does, they're not as quick a read as you think they would be. Um, there's a lot to them. And she's just a wonderful writer. So I recommend False Colors by George Hare. And I hope you're doing well. Happy reading. And I'll see you later.